Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to mount this four line mini LCD sub display for your Pixelcade marquee. It's going to show some metadata, so it's going to show the first line is the name of the game, second line is the platform. You can also see the year the game was made. Now note that main games generally will have metadata, but for other games like, for example, let me just pick Atari 2600, you won't see um, the metadata there. So you're basically just gonna see, you know, let me just pick one here. You're gonna see the name of the game and then the platform. There's also two different backlight colors possible. So this is the blue backlight. And here's what the green one looks like. So here's what the display looks like. Uh, this is a panel mount, so it's going to basically mount flush. And let me show you now how to mount it. So pretend for a moment that this is your arcade cabinet. And so you're going to take this mounting template and just stick it, you know, center it where you want to mount it on your arcade cap. So let's say it's here, for example. So just, you know, just draw a little cutout like this. And then using your favorite tool, you just want to basically cut out a square. Okay, now I've cheated, I've already done that. So here's my cutout here. So then the next thing you do is you take this little piece, just put it over the top. And this is where, because basically we have two screw holes that we need to drill. That's what, that's what this mounting template is for. So again, on your cutout, just put this over the top. And you could actually just drill, you know, you could mark it or you can just drill right now. Once again, let's just drill, drill right now. So this is a 1 8 inch drill bit or roughly three millimeters if you're on metric. So now I've got my holes so again, I've cut this out using my you know, jigsaw or whatever tool you have. Got my two holes here. Now let's just go ahead and mount this guy. So be careful to have it the right way up. So if you look at it over the top, just look at the text. You know, make sure the text isn't upside down. Take the cable here, just put that through your, your um, opening. Just kind of slide it in. So you can see it's gonna basically mount flush. Well, you can see that. And then let's take some screws here. These screws are probably longer than you need, but just in case you've got really thick material, got two screws there. And then on the back, you're just gonna screw it down. So we'll just take some, you could do it, I guess, if you want. Usually I ship with some washers, so just to do the washers there, a little cleaner install. Got my washers. And then just take these and just thread them in. We also ship with this little hex key tool, so you can always Go on the other side and just use this to just tighten it up. All right, that's it. So now you've got a nice, clean flush mount install. Um, we do special orders as well, a little extra charge to get the acrylic, but like if you have a particular theme cabinet and you don't like this matte black, we can do different colors there. A um, little extra charge for that, but just need to know about that in advance. And that's definitely something we can do as a custom order. Two scenarios. If you had an LCD and you had our mini OLED display first, this would actually replace the mini OLED. So you would have already had this base cable here. Let's just go ahead and plug that in into your Pixelcade LCD board, which is right here. So Again, if you already have the OLED, you can't actually have both. You have to pick one. So you would just basically unplug this. If you didn't have the OLED, then we would ship you this base cable as well. 
And then this is super easy. It's just a matter of connecting it to the four pin connector here. The only tricky part you need to worry about this one is just line up the red wires. So you see on here, there's a red wire. There's a red wire in here. Just line them up. This one is not notched, so you could actually screw up. It's not gonna fry the board or anything. It just won't work. So don't worry if you mess it up, but um, just match the red wire when you connect it and you should be fine. So that's how to connect it to your Pixelcade LCD marquee. As always, thanks for tuning in.